In this video, I will show you the last options related to the left panel of the interface that were missing, okay? The first option is only for brushes, okay? But maybe in the future, this command that I will show you can also be used for other tools and commands. Now, don't worry about anything I'm going to do here, okay? Just a demonstration. I will select any brush here. Right now, I'm going to select this clay brush. And I'm going to make a series of modifications to the different properties of it. For example, I'm going to uncheck Stead Stroke option. I'm going to click here on the Edit Brush Parameters button, OK? I'm going to click on this option, Auto Subdivide. I'm going to make these modifications here. I don't care about anything. I'm just clicking the buttons and change everything here, OK? All the values being changed. As you can see, I changed a lot of things in here without any kind of meaning, okay? <laughs> so, let me see if there is anything else. And here. I messed everything up here. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let's suppose that I messed up somewhere in the properties. Or maybe I didn't like the tens I made. And the brush was really, really, really bad. <laughs> and now, I will show you how to solve this situation. Being right here in the normal interface mode, okay? When I say normal mode of the interface, it's not in the mode. Here, look. In the Edit menu, Customize UI. That is, 3D codes interface customization mode, okay? We are in the normal mode here. Great. So, now I come here on top of clay draw section, okay? I will press the right mouse button and right here in the last position, here it is. Restore default. This means that the default behavior of the brush will be restored. That way, all the settings that I made here, everything here will be undone, okay? I'm going to go there again. Right click and pay attention to what will happen as soon as I click on the command here, restore default. Did you know this? <laughs> As you can see, all the original settings of the brush are back, right? Right. See? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Even for example, when I open all these settings. Even by opening the menus, right? I will restore default. It goes back to the way it was before, okay? Default. <laughs> One very important thing to say now. Right now, so that you never forget, is not to confuse the restore default command with another command here, which has a very similar name, okay? <laughs> because for sure it's not the same thing. And the result would be unexpected situation, okay? Now, finally, I will be able to present to you the command that I have avoided talking about so far. The only reason I did this is because I needed to talk about a lot of other things first, in the left panel, before commenting on this command. If I right-click here in the clay draw section, for example, the command is right here. 
restore default ordering. But before click on the restore default ordering command, so that you can understand how this command works, I will prepare two situations here to make it easier for you to understand them, okay? In the first situation, as you can see here, there are two groups of tools that I created, okay? The group Z1 and the group A1, which are inside the clay draw section, right? Right. <laughs> so, I'm going to right click. It can be anywhere here in the section being inside the clay draw section okay i'm going to press here right mouse button and now i have here the restore default ordering option and i'm going to click on this command that's it <laughs> the result of this command as you can see was to ungroup the tools and put them listed in sequence exactly at the moment before I performed all those actions of mine like reposition here in the tools panel. Even before I created and formed the two groups, okay? <laughs> Be careful. Now I will have to create the second situation to demonstrate this to you and in this case in the second situation, I will have to create the two groups again. So, we come here in the Edit menu and enter the customization mode of the 3D code interface. Great! We are in the customization mode here. Now, I will again create the groups here. For example, Z2 will be inside Z1, right? Form the groups of these together. Just like again the group of A's of the A tools in here, right? I have already formed the group. And why not now create a section above with an AZ group, AZ section? Alright. <laughs> I will create one here, one, two. Let me see here. Create a section here. It can be anything, right? Great. I will take this one and put this section here. Make a lot of changes, okay? Create another section here, right in the middle. Why not? Another section, okay? <laughs> what else can we do? Mm, let me see. I'll get this chirping. Form a group with shift. I will also put this little guy here, snake clay, here. Freeze. I will put it right here yes right in the middle that's right we made all these things and now i'm going to press the right mouse button and once again <laughs> but first i'm going to stop the customization i could do it here but i'd rather leave the customization i'm going to right click and choose Restore default ordering. E <laughs> Do you remember when I talked about an unexpected situation? Yes, exactly. <laughs> the command simply deleted all the sections I had created and ungrouped all the tools that I had put in the groups. That's why I tell you, be very careful when using this command. Because if you don't have your interface saved or some kind of backup, crying 
want to fix it, okay? <laughs> you will have to redo everything you did in the left panel because the command will restore the panel as if it were the default. From the first time you opened the program without any kind of customization, okay? Once again, I tell you to be very careful when using the restore default ordering command, right? Great! I hope you have learned something new and as always, I will see you all in the next video. See you there!